Ukrainian formations struck Alexeyevka in Kursk region. Casualties were avoided, but shells damaged the substation, causing problems with electricity supply in the settlement. The enemy again shelled civilian facilities in Belgorod region. A school in Krasnoya was hit, facade building was damaged and windows broken. No casualties or injuries were reported. In Kupyansk sector, fighting continues on the northern outskirts of Hryanikivka. At the same time, Russian troops entrenched themselves in Lyman Pershi and increased their zone of control in Sinkivka. The situation in Lyman sector has not changed significantly. Positional confrontation continues along the entire front line. Russian units are fighting near Balka Zhuravka and are preparing to advance towards Yampolivka Terny. North of Bakhmut, Wagner PMC units complete the mop-up of Krasahora and continue to break AFU defense in Paraskovivka. Under constant artillery fire, the Ukrainian command withdraws individual units from the front line. Storming of enemy positions in the northern, southern and eastern districts of Bakhmut continues. Wagner PMC units entered the southwestern quarter of Budanivka and continue fighting in the area of the town's cemetery. To the southwest, Russian assault units are advancing towards Chasiv Yar, despite AFU fierce resistance. The Ukrainian command is pulling additional forces to the area in an attempt to prevent the loss of important supply hub. AFU artillery continues indiscriminate shelling of populated areas in Donetsk agglomeration. In Horlivka, Nikitivsky district came under attack. Residential buildings and power lines were damaged. In Zaporizhia direction, the sides are pulling their forces together and preparing to resume active combat operations. The Russian units are using barrel and rocket artillery to strike the identified enemy positions. 